What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage a very powerful feature within N8N called loops, looping, how you can loop over items and what this actually means, how to actually implement it into your use cases and what are the main purposes of the loop. Let's dive right into it. All right, so first off, I'll kind of show you what N8N says in their docs about loops, and um, and then we'll dive into some example use cases. All right, I'm just going to get right to it. If you're not familiar with N8N, check out some of my other videos. I've done videos on N8N, tutorials on setting it up in a self-hosted way so you can have unlimited executions and a bunch of good stuff like that. It's basically an alternative to make in Zapier, except it has more functionality more freedom and it's really cool so anyways um looping looping is useful when you want to process multiple items or perform an action repeatedly such as sending a message in every to every contact in your address book and it then handles this repetitive processing uh automatically meaning you don't need to specifically build loops into your workflows there are some nodes where this isn't true so yeah a lot of times it does this automatically, but I'll show you the use cases when you want to use this. So using loops in NADN, NADN knowns takes any number of items as input, processes these, process these items and outputs the results. You can think of each item as a data point or a single row of output. Um, okay, so I won't go through the whole entire thing, um, but here I'll just read this. So... Um, nodes usually run once for each item for example if you wanted to send the name and notes of the customers in the customer data store node as a message on slack you would connect slack node to the customer data store node configure the parameters execute the node you would receive five messages uh one for each item this is how you can process multiple items without having to explicitly connect nodes to a loop and creating loops so typically and then typically handles the iterative uh, iteration for all incoming items. However, there are certain scenarios where you will have to create a loop to iterate through all items, referring to node exceptions um, for a list of nodes that don't automatically iterate over all incoming items. Loop until a condition is met to loop into uh, to create a loop in NADN workflow, connect the output of the node to the input of a previous node and add an if node to check when the to stop the loop here's an example so we're not going to get into if nodes in this video but um yeah there i'll link this in the description below last thing i'll just read is use the loop over items node when you want to loop until all items are processed so to process each item individually set batch to one size to one all right and you can batch the data to group uh in groups and process these batches this apps uh, approach is useful um for avoiding api so this is like one of the re main reasons i've been using the loop to avoid api rate limits when processing large incoming data or when you want to process a specific group of returned items the loop over items node stops executing after all the incoming items get di uh, divided into batches and passed onto the next node in the workflow so it's not necessary to add an if node to stop the loop so yeah if you were doing it until a condition is met that's when you would use the if node um for this purpose we're gonna like the use case i'm gonna show you these are mainly built just to work around the api limits when we're dealing with large data so let's say you're scraping very large data you may be doing some http requests sending it to either Airtable, or you're doing it through uh, you're grabbing a bunch of data maybe you're parsing it you know doing um you're doing it whatever there's a bunch of different you know issues you could that could arise and you may want to batch these um things together so loop would be um the best bet and let's just see if there's anything i asked perplexity so looping is a powerful feature process so the main purposes that perplexity says regarding loops processing multiple items so batch processing looping allows you to handle large data sets batching them into smaller batches this is particularly user uh, useful to avoid api rate limits or managing large volumes of data individual item processing so each item in a data set can be processed individually 
enabling detail and spe uh, specific actions on each data point. Repetitive actions, all right, and then conditional loops, uh, and then use cases. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to go through it all, but I think you get the point here. I'll show you some use cases. Now, these are mainly for um, navigating around like API rate limits. So, for example, you can see um, this is the loop right here. And so what this is doing is it's looping. So this actually does have an if statement, an if node, but this isn't, um, let me just check. So true, false. So basically this is looping, but it, this is an if node to just basically see if this air table, uh, if this, um, record is already in the air table base and it has a weight function too. So if you're doing run encountering API limit, uh, limits, you can also use a weight uh, node as well. You can change it to like five seconds, two seconds, whatever. And then this is an, if basically just saying if the URL already exists in the air table base, if it does. So if that's true, then we're just going to loop back around and check the next URL. If that's false, we're going to continue on with the whole entire uh, thing that we want it to do. And then it's going to loop back and check the next URL. Okay, so that's one use case. I'll show you another use case. And I'll actually show you this an actionable, uh, you know, in action, live in action. So basically, um, and to use the loop, you simply just go here, you type in loop. All right, loop over items. Um, also be uh, could be known as split in batches. So if you hear either of those being referred to, it's basically the loop. Uh, where did I put the loop? So I just, where'd my loop go? Okay, here's the loop. Wait, boom, 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 boom. Okay. So yeah, that's how you add the loop. And when you add the loop, it looks like what I just showed there, which is like this. Um, you can, so change the batch size here. So this is how many it will process at once. Um, you can also change, like look at these settings if needed. Sometimes you may have to use stuff like this. So always output data, execute once, reach on fail, uh, on error, continue or continue using error output. Um, and then let's see, that's pretty much the main stuff. You can change this to one, two, three, etc. Um, let's go ahead and and what, yeah, as you can pretty much tell, you would just replace this. So this is the loop and then this is just done. So you could put stuff here if you wanted it to continue on after the loop is done, um, or you don't have to, so you would just delete this. You could like add a note here, right? You could do an HTTP request. So now it would like loop towards like this. Um, so I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So here is like an example. This is just triggered when I click test workflow. We are going to do some of these actions right here. Then it's going to go to the loop. And let's just see what my settings here are. These ones, the batch sizes are in three. All right. And as you can see, it's going to loop. And it's going to do these actions and then it's just going to loop back. All right. So, um, I've seen this help certain times. Sometimes like, at, like for the example, I'm about to show you here. Um, I still actually am encountering an issue with, and it's not regarding the loop. I think it's something that I'm still trying to troubleshoot. It's not a big deal. It's, it's happening sometimes with, uh, as you can see here, problem in node, it captioned the service refused the connection. Perhaps it's, it is offline. So I'm getting this error. I don't, I'm still troubleshooting this. I don't know exactly what it is regarding, but, um, it seems to be happening like mid, mid, um, you know, I don't know, like maybe like, uh, like see, there's like maybe uh, 250 items here. It's like maybe around the middle of the items that's happening. So when I'm doing a loop here, at least it's, it's going to grab um, it's going to work for some of them. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, but it, I, sh I most likely will get another error, uh, after. So it's probably won't f work fully, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like in action with a loop. Let's go ahead and test this. So now that I clicked here, 
going through the whole different um let's see one okay so now we're looping we got it right here and it's looping again and it's looping again okay so it will take some time you know the looping is basically yeah batching them um you know so it's going through all these different actions and then it, as you can see we're on number six here uh, i'm not going to go you know spend make you guys watch this whole loop but basically it is working i can see it on my other screen right here it's updating the air table base so it's doing all these processes it's getting bashed in you know batches of three and as you can see here there's 228 items so and a lot of these like they're very large um in terms of like what the data is pulling so that's why i was having an issue i believe initially without doing the loop so now with the loop it's made it a lot better um still like i said i'm still troubleshooting a few extra things uh like it probably will start to fail midway through but other than that guys i just wanted to go over quickly show you guys how to actually start using these loops in your scenarios all right it's actually very simple don't get scared or think the loop is actually that uh complex or difficult it's really not you know too complex it's very kind of simple and straightforward once you get the hang of it just like pretty much everything in NAN. and i mean yes there are some more advanced things and we'll get into more of those as well on this channel so make sure to subscribe if you're new here uh, we upload videos every single day also too if you haven't already joined our free stride community where we have extra value in there so uh, we have about 750 members in our free Facebook group and Discord channel. I would definitely recommend checking that out. You can network with like-minded individuals, entrepreneurs, AI enthusiasts, etc. The link for that will be in the description down below. Also too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, showing you how to get clients with AI, definitely check that out. Link will be in the description. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.